Selamat datang di Sun Future Capsule. Kami akan membawa Anda menuju perjalanan menembus ruang dan waktu yang juga akan mengubah masa depan Anda. Perhatikan barang bawaan dan siapkan diri untuk perjalanan ke King's College London. Kencangkan sabuk pengaman dan tetap berada di kursi penumpang. This is your captain speaking. Our destination to King's College London. juta kaki sebentar lagi kita akan menembus lapisan Futurosfer dan akan segera memasuki area baru kita sudah sampai di tujuan King's College London, sesuai namanya, berlokasi di London, United Kingdom. Institusi ini berdiri pada tahun 1829 dan merupakan salah satu universitas tertua di England. Dari segi reputasi dan peringkat, King's College London termasuk salah satu dalam 10 besar institusi pendidikan teratas di United Kingdom yang saat ini berada di peringkat 31 secara global berdasarkan KS World University Rankings 2021. Terima kasih sudah terbang bersama Future Capsule. Nikmati perjalanan masa depan. Oke, okay, selamat siang teman-teman semua. Uh, ketemu lagi uh, dengan saya, Wenda. Uh, hari ini kita akan memulai sesi Another uh, Virtual Campus Sensitive Tour untuk sesi hari ini di mana hari ini kita akan main-main ke UK, di mana uh, kampus yang akan kita samperin hari ini adalah King's College London. Nah, um, hari ini uh, tour guide kita adalah Ilin, uh, sudah ada di tengah-tengah kita hari ini. Ilin, uh, Ilin ini merupakan student dari second year for biomedical engineering dari uh, King's College London. So nanti uh, Ilin akan share tentang kondisi kampus, dan kemudian a short a city tour juga. But unfortunately, uh, karena mungkin uh, situasi dan kondisi di London masih lockdown, jadi kita tidak bisa melakukan live campus tour, tapi uh, kita sudah menyiapkan video, baik itu untuk yang coverage kampus ataupun yang coverage city of London-nya. So don't be worry, uh, semuanya akan kita um, play di sini, dan kemudian nanti untuk introductions, dan kemudian untuk brief uh, about Uh, the campus and then the city itu akan dibantu oleh Ilin. So uh, hari ini kita akan kupas tuntas segala yang terkait dengan campus and city tour terkait dengan London dan juga King's College London. Uh, tetapi kita juga mau informasikan ke teman-teman kalau ada pertanyaan terkait dengan entry requirement, uh, scholarship misalnya, ataupun program, mungkin kita akan bahas di sesi lain waktu, ataupun mungkin nanti saya akan informasikan di chat box, teman-teman bisa menghubungi kemana supaya Uh, hari ini benar-benar yang kita bahas hanya fokus on campus and city tour uh, ataupun live experience dari Ilin as a students di London ataupun di King's College London. So, um, without further ado, saya akan langsung uh, over, um, hand over the stage to uh, Ilin uh, yang akan start membawakan um, videos tentang King's College London dan juga uh, London in general. 
Silakan Ilin. Ya, yeah, hello, my name is Ilin. Uh, I'm a student in King's College London, second year doing biomedical engineering. And um, I'm the vice president of the KCL Indonesian Society, mm -hmm. or as we call it, Indosoc. <laughs> Jadi, if I say like Indosoc in, in the next like a uh, few minutes, it, I meant Indonesian Society. Indonesian Society, ya, teman-teman, ya. Iya. I'll start with a video of our campus. Sebentar. So this is one of our campuses in London. This is Guy's uh, campus. Ini kebanyakan sih yang datang ke sini itu orang-orang life sciences. As you can see, that's the medical school mm -hmm. in Hodgkin building. Yeah. Uh, Guy's campus ini located near the London Bridge, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's one of our prettiest campus, sih. Apalagi kalau lagi summer ya, karena mm -hmm. there is a lot of greenery there, and mm -hmm. yeah. Oke, okay. teman-teman, oh ya saya tadi lupa menyampaikan, kalau misalnya ada teman-teman yang mau bertanya along the way the proses ilin menyampaikan video, ataupun nanti pada saat dia presentasi, teman-teman bisa drop questions-nya di uh, chat box, karena kita tidak allow teman-teman langsung untuk bertanya supaya tidak menimbulkan noise, jadi kalau misalnya ada pertanyaan terkait dengan King College London ataupun London in general, bisa teman-teman bisa chat di chat box-nya supaya nanti kita uh, bisa bahas di tengah-tengah uh, saat ilin menyampaikan, ataupun nanti pada saat selesai video dan segala macam. Ya, yeah. oke. Okay. Yeah. Jadi ini the front of guys campus. Guys campus mm -hmm. ini dekat banget sama the short London, which I'm sure you guys all know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very famous building, and it's really near to all London attractions. So basically, mm -hmm. if you go to King's College London, you're practically most at most 15 minutes away from most London attractions. Mm -hmm. Ini dekat banget sama London Eye juga. Oh, oke. Okay. Kalau ya, yeah, kalau lagi student night gitu, biasanya this courtyard is uh, packed full of students yang mm -hmm. mau masuk ke the school bar, guys bar. Biasanya okay. ya, yeah, uh, we have a lot of events in the school bar, mm -hmm. ada sports night and stuff like that. This is the guys bar. Oke. Okay. It's also Uh, a canteen. Jadi hmm. kalau siang-siang canteen. Okay. Yeah, if there's any events di di bar. Okay. Yeah. Um, di sini sebentar lagi ada a statue of a guy in the. Nah, Nenek. itu ada ada orang ada orang yang tadi uh, lagi main laptop and there is a statue there. That's a statue of John Keats. Okay. If you know John, John, uh, John Keats is a poet. He mm -hmm. also did his some of his studies in King's College London, as mm -hmm. I remember. Okay. Yeah. I think this is it for guys' campus. Oh, belum. <laughs> Maaf ya. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is guys, uh, yang library yang di guys, which is mm -hmm. one of the Pretty is, I think. It's definitely better than the one in Waterloo. Mm -hmm. uh, so in in King's College London too, you will have access to a lot of li libraries all over mm -hmm. London, okay. as long as you carry your your student card. Student ID, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So this is the bridge between Waterloo and mm -hmm. the area near Covent Garden. This is Somerset House uh, okay. during winter. As you can see, there's a skate, there's there's a skating ring, sana, and this is our college that is connected to, to the solar set house. Mm. Now, Estran, the inside is really nice. Yeah, this is Strand campus. A lot of um, first years, mm -hmm. uh, most importantly. First years itu pasti punya kelas di di, di, di sini. Oh, yeah. okay. This is the canteen. The canteen serves excellent food. Mm -hmm. This is the chapel. 
uh, the Strand Chapel. It's really beautiful. Sometimes there's like choir practice or even a mass. Mm -hmm. You need the court. I don't think you can say court yet, but like uh, a space in Strand. Mm -hmm. This is the area around Strand. As you can see, it's really, really like in the heart of London. Yeah. You can't get any more center than King's College London, <laughs> honestly, for campus. Yeah. yeah. It's very close to, if you know, Covent Garden. Yeah. Which is the, you know, shopping center. This is Bush House. It's a building KCL acquired from BBC, I think. Mm -hmm. And this is the shack. The shack is where a lot of student events is held. Mm -hmm. um, this is from Bush House on the way to another library, mm -hmm. which is Mon Library. It's very close to the courts of justice. So mm -hmm. if you are interested in law degree, oh, mm -hmm. Kings is an excellent place mm -hmm. to get it because it's practically there with all the like embassy, uh, courts of justice mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Usually it's really full around out around this area so mm -hmm. um yeah you do have to be careful when walking okay. the video is a little bit the bond like... library oh yeah yeah So, berarti basically uh, secara campus um, King's College London ini punya beberapa campus ya di London ya tapi in, uh, still still in the one area lah yeah. bisa dibilang ya near to each other gak terlalu jauh-jauh yes, banget yes. gitu ya. Uh, yeah. This is the famous Big Ben. We are actually oh, really close yeah. to Big Ben. <laughs> yeah. So, Masih renovation Scottish kan ya kalau gak salah Big Ben ya. Iya. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I think they were planning to finish it in 2022. Oh, okay. Or so 20, yeah, I think year, yeah. they were planning for to finish it in 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think... but I don't think it's going to be finished by then. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, not King's College campus. This is just um, the area around Big Ben. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey, yeah. Um, yeah. The one thing about London is it's really easy to get around mm -hmm. as long as you get a hall, like a few, as, as long as you know the tubes mm -hmm. and the buses, of course. Mm -hmm. Downing Street is uh, where Boris Johnson is. This is a high part, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing about London is there's a lot of parks. So if you get stressed or if you just want to rest, it's really easy to get to get to uh, like less populated parks and just chill mm -hmm. there. OK, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. This, I think, the front of Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's a lot of tourists there um, because uh, sometimes they want to see the changing of the guards. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kayak uh, apa? Prosesi pergantian penjaga gitulah ya, yang biasa di yeah, yeah. jadi tourist attractions ya, yeah. kurang lebih ya. Yeah, sometimes you can also see their um, their cars going in with maximum mm. security, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um this is the Tower Bridge. A lot of mm -hmm. people think that this is the London Bridge. London but Bridge. No, this is the Tower Bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Banyak yang misperceptions ya. <laughs> yeah. There are so many bridges in London that mm -hmm. you just get confused. So mm -hmm. that's it for my video. Okay. Uh, for the around London. Tour okay. Because. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So, uh, karena belum ada pertanyaan, tapi mungkin saya, eh, saya percaya pasti di sini pasti pada punya pertanyaan juga mungkin masih malu-malu ya. Tapi uh, berdasarkan pengalaman saya, uh, ketika saya membawakan beberapa sesi kampus tour, pasti yang, diper- yang ditanyakan pertama kali itu biasanya adalah culture shock um, Apa uh, dari Ilin sendiri as a students there? Um, culture shock enggak sih ketika sampai di sana which is mungkin secara uh, culture and secara lifestyle is a is a bit different lah ya sama uh, Indonesia khususnya so um, mungkin Ilin bisa share pengalamannya uh, do, do you uh, find kind of um, culture shock there and then kemudian bagaimana cara mengatasinya kurang lebih seperti itu gimana Ilin itu uh, ya Uh, jadi dulu waktu I first got in uh, got to UK, I wasn't actually in London. I was in Cambridge, and I think um, kadang-kadang kaget ya kalau mis uh, like um Londoners uh, like they usually just um like as their way of greeting you. Of course, they say like how are you, but sometimes they don't really expect an answer. Yeah, so. You're know, like, oh yeah, how are you? Yeah, good. How are you? And it's just like, um, kayak cuma sekedar menyapa gitu. Yeah, yeah. basa basi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basa basi. Mm-hmm. Or even um, like they would ask with a concerned face, like, you good? And <laughs> you would be like, um, why? Is there anything wrong with? Like, is there? Do I look not okay? But, yeah, yeah. But like, the, that's actually just their way of saying like. Hmm. You go uh, like like hi. It's just, yeah. it's, just, it's just the way they say hi, like kurang lebih ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not like you don't have to contemplate. Are you really okay or not? But just like <laughs> them saying that. Um, yeah, and um, I think juga um, kalau di London too, especially in London, yeah. <laughs> the the London is so big, and there's. Uh, so many colleges that mm-hmm. you probably won't have any other Indonesians in your course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, I'm the only Indonesian in my course. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not uh, um, so to get into the Indonesian community, mm-hmm. you have to actually uh, make an effort to join, hmm. misalnya, like in the Indonesian society. Indonesian society atau yeah. PPI gitu ya. PPI hmm. itu yeah. uh, ini teman-teman persatuan um, pelajar Indonesia. Pelajar Indonesia gitu. Jadi setiap hmm. negara punya, tapi yang uh, setahu saya kalau untuk jadi dia mereka setahu um, ada beberapa PPI uh, PUK misalnya in the whole UK, tapi ada juga PPI. per city setahu saya ada PPI London ada PPI yeah. beberapa uh, area-area yang lain so um, itu juga salah satu cara untuk mengatasi culture shock ya ini ya uh, to yeah, get yeah, friends really and important. make a new networks mm. gitu ya mm-hmm. it's really important I think it's really important to have like a support system that mm-hmm. uh, just makes you feel less homesick yeah, karena kan kayak when you first got to the city Okay, you don't know gada which place siapa, to eat gitu in. Ya. <laughs> uh, yeah, gada siapa siapa. You don't know like, oh, how do I even make a doctor's appointment? Hmm. How do I like, kalau misalnya sakit harus gimana? Harus gimana? Or hmm. um, like, yeah, or in the like really really unfortunate case where you lost your BRP, yeah, yeah, yeah. or even your passport, hmm. yeah. or how to deal with especially kayak kemarin waktu covid gitu kan banyak yang hmm. jadi punya um, housing problems karena like you have to go back to Indonesia but yeah. your accommodation demands that you pay them too even though you're not living there hmm. yeah how to deal with that kind of thing gitu hmm. yeah Okay, jadi berarti culture shock tuh mungkin secara umum pasti ada lah ya, tapi how to deal with, how yeah. to um, mengatasinya itu ada banyak cara lah ya istilahnya. Tapi yang penting yeah, yeah. Uh, mungkin um, have an open minded uh, mindset gitu juga penting ya yeah, uh, untuk yeah. kita get a network juga there supaya punya teman and then nggak uh, merasa sendirian gitu-gitu ya. Mungkin yeah. kalau untuk di It's luar. Also important. Negeri, 
for for people not to be like um kan kadang-kadang kita ada kayak you know ingrained prejudices about kayak oh mungkin oh kalau orang kalau orang Afrika mah gini or like oh orang bule mah gini yeah, 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 yeah. like uh, there is like although um some people sometimes like you're not racist but mm-hmm. like there's an ingrained prejudice mm-hmm. sometimes but i think it's important to like try to overcome that and mm-hmm. just try to be friends with everyone mm-hmm. yeah Oke, okay. tapi maksudnya secara ini ada ini juga yang jadi uh, general questions dari orang lain. Orang-orang di sana tuh culture seperti apa? And then are they friendly? Are they selfish? Gitu atau ada beberapa kan ada beberapa yang mungkin merasa aduh uh, apa uh, takut didiskriminasi kak di situ gitu. Kira-kira dari Yelin sendiri mungkin um, apa? Is there any problem with that? Gitu uh. mungkin. Well, uh, the first time, uh, like I said, I was in Cambridge mm-hmm. for yeah. like do, to do my A levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, at the time, I was in a class. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was the only Asian in the class. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone, everyone Asian, else was even Asian, yeah, people, bukan Indonesian. Like, yeah. They were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was the only Asian in class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the teacher was uh, UK. The teacher was white. Everyone was white. And yeah, sometimes when you do, when you get into discussions about like um, poor countries in Asia, they would just look at you. <laughs> yeah, but like, um, yeah, it's kind of uncomfortable, but like try not to get, let, let, let that get to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you deserve to be there as much as any of them yeah, deserve to be true. there. Jadi jangan yeah. dilihat itu Don't sebagai have... sesuatu... apa ya yeah. bentuk diskriminasi tapi uh, dilihat dari sisi oh they appreciate me karena mereka udah notice kita aja berarti udah something yang oh uh, they um, appreciate our uh, ini lah presence there gitu lah kurang lebih ya um, enggak sih maksudnya uh, lebih kayak apa ya um, memang bakal ada a bit like especially some people there mm-hmm. they don't even like they don't even usually sometimes they don't even usually have like asian friends mm-hmm. okay so you have to be a bit more understanding if they mm. have kind of like prejudice towards mm, you yeah, betul, betul, betul. Uh, yeah but don't make that like a reason to make yourself smaller yeah betul, betul. Kaya, mm. jadi, yeah, yeah don't don't be afraid to speak up yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. sama lah ya yeah. maksudnya kalau kondisi ketika dimanapun kita kan akan selalu bertemu dengan orang yang ada yang suka ada yang nggak suka gitu kan dan kita tidak mungkin menyenangkan yeah. semua pihak gitulah ya istilahnya jadi so uh, yeah. ya memang harus uh, survive no matter what gitu kan apapun yang kita bisa lakukan yeah. kita survive dan kita to fight for that gitulah ya kurang lebih ya ya yeah. oke okay, Ilin you yeah. may uh, continue with your presentations um, sambari saya mau ingetin lagi kalau misalnya teman-teman ada yang mau ditanyakan bisa di leave di chat box uh, karena sebentar ini akan lanjutkan dengan a short presentation about uh, King's College London uh, dan juga about London in general jadi kalau misalnya teman-teman ada questions please don't do not hesitate to leave it in the chat box supaya kita nanti bisa bahas uh, after Ilin uh, finish the presentation and then uh, sampai nanti kita waktunya closing di jam 1 nanti ya jadi jangan sungkan apapun pertanyaannya yeah. bisa di uh, leave di chat box ya Oke, okay, um, lanjut Lin. Ya, yeah. uh, so are you seeing my screen? Yes, we are. All right, okay. This is Bush House. Um, it's the prettiest building, and I think uh, compared to any other buildings we have in KCL. Yeah, but uh, a a lot of uh, the students here, they are foundation students. or business students, or computer science students. It's a very like um, elite building. <laughs> But a lot, of, uh, a lot of events are also held here. Sometimes Indonesian society also um, like they use the room here for our events. So this is the map 
of KCL campuses. This isn't even the, all of it. Um, to the south, there is mm -hmm. another campus called mm -hmm. Denmark Hill. Mm -hmm. And to the right, there is another campus, uh, Guys Campus, the one we, guys. Mm -hmm. one we saw. Yeah, the first time tadi waktu videonya. Yeah, awal -awal video, it's, yeah. Mm, it's about 10 to 15 minutes from Waterloo Campus. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there is like uh, uh, around our campus, there's a lot of like um, landmarks at a national theater, at the Somerset House. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like Covent Garden and Leicester Square, dekat banget mm -hmm. sama Strand Campus, the Mon Library. Yeah, a lot of our buildings are named after famous people who have, uh, who partake. Uh, Partake their study in KCL, mm -hmm. atau found something in KCL. Mm. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, London Eye is like 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the KCL campus. Ini yang tadi, uh, the chapel. Chapel. Mm -hmm. The chapel is located in Strand. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the, the one in the middle is the view from Bush House. Mm -hmm. So in Bush House, they have a rooftop that you can access to, that, that you can access. Mm -hmm. Last year when they had freshman, freshman's fair, they mm -hmm. had like a whole buffet up there. Ooh. Like there's sushi and there's just, yeah. There's like, um, they showcase what the KCL food mm -hmm. is serving. Oh, all year round, or all year round. Okay. Yeah. And I must say that their food is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and they have big portions. And the last one here is Mon Library. Yeah. Uh, mostly people don't really go to the library to um, check out books. Although, although I know like um, some people do go out there to check out books, some mm. textbooks and stuff. Uh, but mostly people go there to study. Okay. Uh, this is still the KCL campus. Um, there's a Jumanji premiere here. Premiere. Because oh. uh, one, yeah, one of my my friends, um, she's a film like a film fan. Mm -hmm. And this is actually really close to our Waterloo campus. The event venue is really close to our Waterloo campus. Mm -hmm. So I thought it might be worthwhile to put it here just to give you a picture of like how center we are. <laughs> that even Jumanji Premier is like right next to us. Mm -hmm. um, this one right here is in the Strand, in the Strand um, Lane. And you have like these uh, huge chess boards. And mm -hmm. some days people just like gather there and just play chess. Kalau yang ini tuh yang tadi ada skate, skating rink. Um, when, when, when it's not like winter, it's just used as a uh, events, like uh, people hold events here. And it's right next to our campus. It's really close. It's really close. Like you can go out and in and out of there. Mm. Yeah. So this is the student life. Uh, so in the middle here, this is what mm. you usually usually see in a fresher man's fair. Mm. Yeah, fresh man's fair. So yeah, orientation, yeah, like, teman -teman. yeah, orientation. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of societies and they, they just like uh, they just want new people to join their mm -hmm. societies yeah jadi, uh, there's a lot of free food a lot of free snacks mm -hmm. free um, free merchandise mm -hmm. gitu. I joined a knitting society last year it was fun mm -hmm. uh, this kaya, right here kaya, is the kaya, ini berarti kayak student club gitu ya uh, ini kayak yang mana ya? Yang di tengah tadi, yang di tengah, yang di yang hmm? di foto yang di tengah. Berarti itu kayak misalnya hmm? kayak uh, showcase student clubnya sana kali ya atau gimana? Iya, yeah, student student society-nya sana. Oke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kalau yang ini itu 
namanya The Glade. It's okay. in Bush House. So mm -hmm. it's just a space for, for students to relax. Mm -hmm. Sometimes okay. people, uh, there, there is a sleeping pod here. So you can just <laughs> sleep there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very common to see people just sleeping mm -hmm. in sleeping areas in school. Mm -hmm. This is um, actually a personal photo of mine mm -hmm. uh, in the fall. The fault is a bar um, underneath Bush House. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it becomes a bar. Sometimes it becomes a canteen of sorts. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and there's always like events held here. It's mm -hmm. like uh, on Wednesday, wed uh, on Tuesday nights or like Wednesday nights, they mm -hmm. hold sports night. So you have you would have like this sports people like jocks like people who play rugby and play mm. hockey just mm -hmm. gathering in the bars and go go crazy yeah it's really <laughs> fun mm -hmm. okay um this is a video like just to give you a picture of um this is an event this was an event where uh, they sell plants for fundraising. And this is Yeah, um, that was uh, also in freshman fair. It was from pole dancing club. So there's a lot of student Students societies come. in. Yeah. yeah, just just like student activities. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also like hockey, rugby, mm -hmm. yoga, all sorts. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. All right. Um, here's the Somerset House during yeah. winter. Winter, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's really pretty, but um, it's quite expensive to skate there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terus ini yang di bawah ini, uh, PPI London. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For uh, like for admittance to PPI London, you have to apply and then you have to be interviewed, and uh, basically, what you do in PPI London is uh, hold events, biasanya in con uh, in collaboration with um, individual schools, um, individual schools society. Mm -hmm. Jadinya uh, banyak society disatuin, terus yeah. kita bikin event. Um, in this one, this is what this is just in the class, just to let you see like how a class usually looks like. I guess, mm -hmm. in King's College <laughs> London, yeah. And this is Halloween night. Uh, around Halloween, pokoknya seminggu, like in that Halloween week, London is going to be full of just Halloween events. Mm -hmm. You can't walk around at night without seeing people dressed up. <laughs> and this is one of, um, one of, UCL's events actually. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we London universities, we usually keep 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 other London universities close to us. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so we usually hold events together, collaborate together, mm -hmm. and usually we encourage uh, students to just come to any London, yeah. uh, come to any indoor stock events in London. Mm -hmm. This is the UCL's archipelago yang mm. tahun, dua tahun lalu, eh, tahun lalu, tahun lalu. Tahun lalu. Yeah. So this is just London Life. Um, this is the bridge you cross uh, when you go from Waterloo Campus to Strand Campus. Mm. Waterloo Campus wasn't in any of the videos previously, but Waterloo is the primary campus for engineering students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're engineering, if you do engineering or like life sciences or even just like pure science, like physics, chemistry, um, and um, oh, it's also close to 
the school of law. So if you do all of that, you, you just go back and forth between Strand and Waterloo. Mm -hmm. okay. This is in the middle, this is Kilau. It's an event uh, for the London-wide event. Jadi biasanya uh, all Indosocks, kayak UCL Indosoc, Imperial Indosoc, KCL mm -hmm. Indosoc, and LSE Indosoc, mm -hmm. yang lumayan gede-gede gitu. Yeah. They collaborate and then they hold a big event in the end of the year. Mm -hmm. This is a skating event, so it was really fun. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. This right here is just a, my physics class. Mm -hmm. It's held in a theater of sorts. Mm -hmm. And this is the, um, who was it? Who was it? The one who invented Cronuts? Dominic Ansel, yeah. Dominic Ansel Bakery. Mm -hmm. um, it's also quite near to uh, our campus. campus. Mm -hmm. hmm. So if you're a fan of Cronuts, you can, you can go there. <laughs> this is just around London. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the borough market. One mm -hmm. of my favorite pastimes in London is just visiting every market and trying every food possible. <laughs> because you just, yeah, yeah, they have such like a wide variety because as you know, London is a city full of immigrants, which mm -hmm. is a good thing because you have uh, Indian food, Thai food, mm. African food, Nigerian food, mm. and like North African food, like yeah. even Indian, like actual regional Indian food. It's just like wonderful. You have to go to markets if you go to London. Uh, yeah. The one here is an event by Tiffany and Co in Covent Garden. Yeah, they had a skating rink here, mm -hmm. and this is. Of course, Chinatown. Chinatown. <laughs> mm -hmm. Chinatown is always, always packed. But, you know, sadly, because of COVID-19, it got pretty, yeah, it got pretty lifeless around the start of 2020, which is really sad to see. But if you want good food, you go to Chinatown. Mm, yeah. And this is just the road in front of Strand. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, there's like the Sam Somerset house. It's, it's mm -hmm. being renovated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it for my presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, tadi Arin udah, uh, udah have a quite uh, deep uh, ini ya, presentation about KCL and also London life kira-kira seperti apa. There are some questions on the chat box juga. Uh, mungkin Arin bisa bantu jawab. Yang pertama, uh, is it a very competitive and pressuring environment there? Um, gimana tuh menurut ini? KCL. Ya, yeah, in, in, in KCL, KCL mungkin ya. Um, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but KCL <laughs> is usually considered as the chillest people <laughs> of all the London universities. Because oh. like in Imperial, yeah. In Imperial, you just have people who have uh, uh, who are in engineering degrees, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. computer science degrees. Yeah. And they are very busy. They don't even have reading week. Mm -hmm. Reading week is a week where you don't have classes mm -hmm. specifically for you to catch up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In KCL, they are, they are very, um, they are very keen on letting you enjoy your university life, which is nice. <laughs> Ya. Yeah. Uh, gitu. Tapi emang masuknya kompetitif. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, entry is pretty competitive. Ya, yeah, betul, betul, betul. Karena ya yeah, seperti yang tadi dibahas di video di awal ya bahwa uh, KCL ini adalah top 10 uh, top you uh, tap salah satu dari top 10 university in London and then uh, top 30 di uh, all over the world by QS ranking. Yeah. Jadi memang secara competitiveness pasti lebih tinggi compare to another university yang mungkin tidak masuk ke uh, top 30 ataupun top 50 di QS ranking gitu. Jadi memang secara um, yeah. entry requirement mungkin agak sedikit lebih tinggi compare to yang lain. Dan uh, kalau bicara soal competitiveness, uh, balik lagi ke uh, apa ya? Balik lagi ke orangnya masing-masing nanti ya. How 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 do you um, bagaimana kita menyikapinya? Bagaimana kita 
have a self motivation so untuk yeah. uh, jadi like, yang inilah ya growing how lah ya competent, how, co- yeah. how competent you are yeah. yeah. okay. hmm. okay, jadi kurang lebih seperti itu ya uh, Marsha yang bertanya oke okay, kemudian ada pertanyaan lagi komunitas Indo tadi sudah Ailin bahas ya Uh, ada beberapa komunitas Indo di sana. Uh, Ilin juga salah satu dari Vice President of uh, Indonesian Society di sana. Kemudian juga ada PPI, ada Persatuan Pelajar Indonesia di situ. Jadi memang uh, seperti yang tadi Ilin bilang juga bahwa itu juga bisa bantu uh, kalian untuk um, mengatasi kayak culture shock ataupun mungkin uh, homesick dan segala macam. Jadi ada ya? Ya, yeah, I think it's. Ah. Mm-hmm. Gimana lanjutin? Oops. Halo? Ya, di mana? Eh, terpotong tadi. Sorry. Halo, Lin. Agak lagi ya. Lin sudah kembali? Lin. Lin kayaknya lagi. Jadi tadi saya bahas lagi ya sambil menunggu Irin kembali. Uh, ada ada komunitas orang Indonesia ya di situ ya. Uh, baik itu dari segi uh, pelaj- perkumpulan pelajar ataupun dari segi uh, yang lain gitu. PPI namanya PPI itu jadi dia PPI ada PPI UK. Um, Ayalin. Oh Ailin baru ngabarin. Uh, I think I disconnect katanya. Oke, okay, uh, jadi memang ada uh, PPI itu ada Persatuan Pelajar Indonesia, ada yang uh, the whole nation, ada kayak UK-nya, tapi ada juga yang per city. Jadi kayak tadi Ilin bilang di salah satu di slide ada video Ilin yang menampilkan um, kegiatan dari PPI London. Jadi dia ada per city, ada juga yang whole nations PPI London, uh, PPI UK. Jadi Jangan khawatir, memang rata-rata kebanyakan setiap negara, masing-masing negara juga punya persatuan pelajar Indonesia. Either you study in Australia or either you study in other cities, memang ada pasti ada persatuan pelajar Indonesia. Gitu. Kemudian ada lagi nggak yang mau ditanyain sebelum? Living cost kira-kira di sana per bulan berapa, Kak? Nah, Hilin kembali. Lin masih di mute, Lin. Ya, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oke, okay, it's okay. Um, so, lanjutin dulu tadi Lin, mungkin yang ada yang mau ditambahin perihal yang komunitas seorang Indonesia? Ya, yeah, I think it's really important for um, students yang study abroad to just mm-hmm. get to know the Indonesian community there because mm-hmm. you never know like when you need any help really. And ya, yeah, you have to jaga-jaga gitu kan. Iya, <laughs> betul. Iya. Yeah. Oke, okay, uh, kita lanjut ke next questions. Uh, living cost kira-kira di sana berapa ya per bulan gitu? Mungkin uh, Ilin bisa kasih average lah ya kurang lebih uh, berapa kira-kira living cost di sana? Sebenarnya agak tergantung sih. <laughs> average uh, aja sih, mungkin dari pengalaman Ilin aja. Kebanyakan tuh mungkin uh, ini. lebih ke kalau kita enggak ke, kita like we eat out we still uh, we still do like recreational things and just like benar-benar enggak benar-benar enggak belum kayak apa ya belum ngirit belum ngirit gitu ya uh, with like 800 pounds i think it's kayak around that 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 number itu you eat uh, you you can eat out you can do recreational things you can buy new clothes cuman emang bisa kalau mau ngirit gitu uh, you you don't eat out you just you just buy groceries gitu gitu uh, some people could live with like 500 pounds uh, excluding rent ya yeah. Kalau rentnya sendiri juga it's well, widely variable. Karena uh, mungkin if you first year in, in in London, you're more likely to stay in student accommodations. Kalau student accommodations ya Kings tuh 
it's quite good it's quite a good deal actually sekitar 200 pounds gitu you mm-hmm. udah dapat a center like like a place in the center of london yeah yeah and it's uh, i think one of my friends suits in waterloo waterloo mm-hmm. which is like two minutes away from waterloo campus yeah um he pays 225 per week mm-hmm. yeah so it's about that kali empat aja gitu mm-hmm. kali empat aja buat sebulan and it's udah unsuit unsuit itu yang dapat resep dalamnya oh oke okay. ya yeah. yeah but you share the kitchens okay mm-hmm. and i actually think uh sharing kitchens is actually a good thing mm-hmm. because you are forced to interact with other people yeah 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 and you just get to know them and sometimes uh if you click your like your flatmates who you share a kitchen with it's going to be the best just the best people you you know in London. <laughs> yeah. Oke. Okay. Jadi sudah terjawab ya teman-teman. Mungkin berarti 800 pound monthly kurang lebih ya. Iya, yeah, kurang lebih. Well, okay. you can go lower than that. Iya, mm-hmm. mm. yeah, maksudnya itu dengan living cost average lah ya uh, which is uh, yeah. uh, proper food um enggak 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 menghemat-hemat gitu lah ya istilahnya ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Because uh, it adds up gitu kalau misalnya say you go to an event and it's the entry is 15 pounds gitu. Oke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you go to that kind of event atau misalnya mm. um, if you go out like every week gitu. Just for like simple beer misalnya. Tapi like oh, one one beer and like a snack is like 15 pounds minimum gitu. Oke. Okay. Akomodasi akomodasi kampus, kampus apa ada? Tadi udah dibahas ya. Mm-hmm. Ada, tapi it's very hard to get it because <laughs> Kings have about 30,000 students. <laughs> and you only have 5,000 to 10,000 spots I think. Mm. Oke. Okay. Ya, yeah, jadi Uh, a lot of people, including myself, I ended up um, hiring, uh, like, um, renting a private accommodation, a yeah. private student mm-hmm. accommodation. Yeah. Karena, like, it was my first year in London, and it's also, like, in a private student accommodation, walaupun agak mahal, mm-hmm. you have a lot of facilities, and they're really, they're, like, the staff there is really helpful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oke, okay, saya tambahin ya teman-teman. Kalau emang misalnya bicara soal kampus accommodation itu pasti ada, tapi bicara soal ket, uh, ketersediaannya memang will be depends on the campus juga. Uh, maksudnya ada beberapa kampus yang mungkin punya uh, facility untuk akomodir hampir um, sebagian besar international students, jadi memang sudah ada in campus accommodation. Tapi memang ada beberapa juga yang um, tidak menyediakan sebanyak itu, tetapi opsinya ada atau tidak ada. Dan kemudian kalaupun misalnya tidak ada opsi untuk on-campus accommodations, pasti ada opsi lain di luar dari campus seperti yang mungkin Ilin ambil juga. gitu. Dan uh, Sun Education, we also work with uh, so many partners for accommodations. Jadi teman-teman nggak perlu worry, kita akan bantu carikan yang terdekat dengan campus yang secara range pasti juga masih affordable untuk di afford sama um, students kurang lebih seperti itu so no need to worry about accommodations karena kalau misalnya by sana education juga kita have a lot of partners um, to find uh, best accommodations that suits your needs lah kurang lebih seperti itu jadi jangan khawatir soal itu gitu kemudian ada next questions ada program part time for international students kayak ya habis itu uh, apa uangnya bisa help accommodation atau living cost di sana enggak? Ilin mungkin bisa bantu jawab deh. Kalau uh, part time job ada yang di KCL. If you become a student ambassador of KCLs, you are paid 10.75 pounds per hour you work, which is um, actually really good. It's a it's a pretty good living. Apa? It's a pretty good pay. Um, buat Can you cover your accommodation with that? Um, well, it depends on. It depends on a lot of things, um, especially your accommodation's price. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> but usually in your BRP, uh, mm -hmm. kartu yang you dapat, it's written how many hours you are able to work. Uh, and usually in a school year, in a, in a school term, you are only able to work 10 to 20 hours. 20 hours maximum setahu saya. Ya? Yes, yeah, 20 hours maximum. So you can imagine that's only like 200-ish pounds, mm -hmm. which is probably your one week of your rent. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, so uh, 20, uh, 20 hours itu per week ya teman-teman jadi bukan uh, ini eh, sorry per month uh, per month atau per week ya saya lupa uh, uh, 200 pounds per week yeah. 200 oke okay. ada juga yang misalnya kayak 120 per week mm -hmm. hmm. oke okay. uh, so will be depends ya kalau misalnya tergantung dari teman, -teman. Ya, yeah, um, tergantung sih. And I have to admit, memang London it's a bit expensive uh, for for accommodations. Um, and there is someone who asked about scholarships from University of London for mahasiswa S2, S3. Um, kalau untuk itu, mostly that most, most uh, kayak yang I know itu siswa itu kebanyakan dikasihnya oleh foundation ya, foundation yayasan gitu. I don't know if they give um, they give grants directly from University of London. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think you can research. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, betul. Uh, kita bantu jawab ya untuk Amirullah. Hmm. Uh, beasiswa langsung diberikan oleh UAL untuk mahasiswa S2, S3. Biasanya bukan dari universitinya. Biasa lebih diberikan oleh government. So will be depends yeah. on your government uh, policy lagi nanti ke depannya. Kalau misalnya kalau untuk S2, S3, biasanya LPDP itu cukup banyak opsinya. Yeah. Uh, dan itu memang bentuknya school scholarship, but unfortunately you can stay there after you graduate. Karena kan kalau untuk LPDP kan memang kebutuhannya adalah uh, kembali ke Indonesia, mengabdi di Indonesia lah dalam arti. You can work anywhere, tapi kamu harus tetap balik ke Indonesia dan working uh, and contribute in Indonesia, kurang lebih seperti itu. Jadi memang biasanya rata-rata, Kalaupun misalnya ada universiti yang memberikan scholarship, biasanya um, itu akan sangat ketat sekali persaingannya karena worldwide hitungannya. Jadi kan uh, tidak hanya for Indonesian specifically, tapi juga mereka akan um, range-nya lebih ke worldwide, jadi kamu harus bersaing dengan uh, sekian banyak orang yang mau entry ke sana juga. Gitu loh. So, biasanya jarang sekali hampir tidak ada uh, universiti yang langsung memberikan scholarship secara full ataupun partial ke uh, students apa khususnya international students. Um, tetapi kalian bisa punya opsi kayak misalnya kayak UK itu ada Shibening, kemudian ada LPDP. Jadi uh, banyak another options yang kalian bisa dapat ketika kalian um, apa? ketika kalian aiming for kind of scholarship. So uh, saya akan leaving um, apa? Uh, hotline Sun Education. Jadi teman-teman bisa kontak ke kita if there is any questions regarding entry requirement or scholarships ataupun programs uh, baik itu untuk KCL ataupun London in general teman-teman bisa uh, saya sudah leaving di chat box um, apa um, hotline dan education so kalau misalnya teman-teman ada further questions about that one bisa di chat ke kita by WhatsApp ataupun by hotline atau di DM di Instagram Sun Education at Sun Education Group gitu ya Oke, karena sudah jam 1, uh, saya rasa karena pertanyaan kode uh, the whole question juga sudah kita jawab rata-rata. So, um, kita mau say thank you to Ilin. Ilin, thank you for the sharing. Uh, hopefully, uh, hari ini teman-teman sudah bisa dapat uh, yeah. a better uh, picture ataupun better understanding about KCL and also uh, London in general. ya. Uh, Mudah-mudahan sesi ini bermanfaat. Dan kalau misalnya teman-teman mau join another session hari ini, we still have one UK um, universities uh, jam 6 sore nanti dengan Queen's University Belfast. Uh, kalau misalnya teman-teman dapat Zoom link ini, berarti teman-teman sudah dapat the whole Uh, zoom link untuk sesi yang lain. So if you want to um, join di uh, last session jam 6 sore nanti bisa langsung akses di jam 6 nanti ya. Oke okay, kalau gitu uh, sekian dari saya Ilin sekali lagi thank you uh, for sharing. Uh, good luck ya Ilin ya dan teman-teman yeah, semua terima good kasih luck. sudah bergabung dengan kita. 
Yeah. Uh, mudah-mudahan sesi bermanfaat dan uh, terima kasih sudah bergabung. Selamat makan siang buat yang belum makan siang dan have a very bright um, the rest of your day for today ya. Terima kasih. Selamat siang. Siang, siang. Makasih. Good luck.